All right, what we're going to do is take a look at how do we uh, how do we make text magically appear in a spreadsheet. Um, so, for instance, if you're doing like a digital breakout and if the kids get the answers correct, um, it gets them to another clue. Um, for example, in this, another example would be in this spreadsheet here, if kids go through and do this multiplication, uh, you'll see what happens. All right, so this text appears. Yeah, you completed the first task. Now watch this video. Um, so we're going to find out how to make this happen. All right, so let's go to a blank spreadsheet, and I'm just going to work with these three cells here, A1, A2, and A3. And uh, we want the kids to say, let's say we want them to put cat in the first cell, dog in the second, and 10, the number 10 in the third one. Um, and when that, well, then those three criteria are met, we uh, something will appear to say, hey, great job you did. It. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is this. We're going to use if statements. So we start our statement with an equals if, and if statements all work the same. Um, if this happens, then do this. If it doesn't, then do something else. So we're going to say this. If A1 equals the word cat in parentheses, then say, uh, let's just put an X there. All right. So if this is true, then do this. If it's not, let's just put a, a blank space, which is a quote, quote. All right. Close your parentheses. All right. Now, if I type the word cat, an X appears. Right, we're going to do the same thing down here, but for the word dog. If A2 equals the word dog, put an X. If it doesn't, leave it blank. Oh, I didn't start with my if. There we go. And this last one here is going to be, uh, we're going to do the number 10. So if this cell equals 10, you don't have to put the quotes around numbers. Put an X. If it doesn't, leave it blank. All right, so now if I type the word dog here, or dog, doesn't matter, or the number 10, uh, I get these three X's, all right? What I'll typically do, though, I'll take a handful of cells, and I will merge them. And this is where our message is going to appear. We're going to use an if statement again, but we're going to um, say, if there are three X's here, say this. If there's not three, don't say anything. So the way we're going to do this is equals if. We're going to use a count if statement. So we're going to nest this inside of the if statement. And the way this works is I'm going to count the number of x's. So this is saying between b1 to b3, count how many x's exist. If it equals 3, so this is the first part of our if statement, then say, you did it. If it doesn't, say nothing. All right. So it says you did it. And you can go ahead and align this if you want, make it in the center of the text. Um, if you have a longer statement, you can wrap it. Um, so it goes down to the next line. But look what happens. If I change this to 11, it goes away. All right. Oops. If I change this to cat, it goes away. Um, now, what you can also do, first off, hide this column, all right, or have this column exist way over here on the far side of your spreadsheet. Otherwise, kids will start poking around in there, all right. Um, so hide that column. Another thing in here you can do, instead of saying you did it, take out this middle piece and put a hyperlink in there. So you can do the hyperlink function, which works like this. Uh, hyperlink, left parenthesis, the website you want kids to go to, comma, the text that you want it to say. All right, and this could be a link to a Google document or an article where kids can get some other facts. So now, if they put in the word 10, this link appears, and kids can click on it and go to who? Well, Google in this case. All right. Um, one other thing you might want to do as well, uh, kids will see this merged cell because you can see the grid lines here. You can go to view and turn off your grid lines, which makes it a little, a little trickier, a little harder for them to find than maybe just put a border around those cells and just tell the kids, hey, wherever you see a cell with a border around it, that's what you need to fill in, and then this will magically appear, all right?